Here's the second knockdown. They both lean through that left hook. Right hand land cleanly, but buckled him right there. That landed cleanly. Three in a row. Bad news. In this video, I will explain how Australia's Tim Zhu is not ready for a title fight with Jermail Charlo, says fellow Australian Anthony Mundine. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Let's jump right into it. Link in the description. Now, Australia's Anthony Mundine, who previously fought guys like Sugar Shane Mosley, Jeff Horn. I came across this. This came across the desk. And it says Anthony Mundine or Mundane says Tim Zhu needs more top class bouts before fighting for a world title. Right. As you guys know, Tim Zhu just made his U.S. debut on Showtime's card and he was victorious against Terrell Goucher, who is an Olympian, and he pretty well dominated the fight. There were a couple rounds he gave up. I gave Terrell Goucher probably two rounds, maybe three. Right. But all in all, it was sound work by Tim Zhu in a step up. But Australia boxing great Anthony Mundine. And keep in mind, this is a publication from Australia. So it's an Australian print news media. And it says Australia boxing great Anthony Mundine says Tim Zhu is not. He isn't ready for a world title fight. Fighting for the first time in the United States, the undefeated Tim Zhu survived a first round knockdown to beat tough American Terrell Goucher on Sunday. Zhu, 21-0, with 15 knockouts, retained his number one WBO ranking at 154. He is now in line for the weight division's unified titles after Brian Castaño and Jamel Charlo set to rematch this coming May and that's a banger May 14th be there be square first fight was an instant classic the American Charlo is the WBC IBF and WBA super welterweight champion while Argentines Castaño has the WBO title so that's an undisputed fight the winner of that unless it's a draw again you know fingers crossed that it isn't is gonna have all the belts all four belts in the four belt era Mundine, a former world middleweight and super middleweight world champion, believes Tim Zhu isn't ready to fight either Charlo or Castaño on the evidence of his win over Goucher. And this is what he said directly. I will put it in pink, pretty in pink. You guys see it. It says, it is a bit premature for Zhu to be fighting Jermail Charlo or Castaño. I don't think he's up to it yet. It is a big step up in class. He made some mistakes against Terrell Goucher and he needs to learn from them. He should have another three, four, five fights in America after tough opponents before fighting for that world title. He still got to work on his craft. However, it does say that Mundane, Mundane remains keen of this thought. Says Mundane admitted it would be a tough to turn down a world title fight if it was offered to Zoo. That would be his personal decision. If he believes he can do it, that is his choice. I wish him all the best in his career. Mundane maintains a keen interest in the success of Australian boxers, who now includes his son, who is fighting. I never wanted my son to be a fighter, but now as a doe, he's made that decision, etc. So that's the subject of this video. And ironically enough, the great ego Stradamus strikes again. I told you that in if you watch my boxing ego watch party, if you're new to the channel, what that is, boxing ego watch party, I go over the fights in real time, give you my live reactions, and I watch Terrell Goucher versus Tim Zhu. Fun fight, entertaining. I have no complaints. Tim Zhu in that boxing ego watch party. Make sure you guys subscribe for the latest and greatest in boxing. I got you covered. Now, before I get started on furthering my thoughts, in the last 28 days, 50% of you subscribe to the channel that watch my content. The other 50%, you have yet to subscribe. Maybe you forgot. Maybe it slipped your mind. Sometimes YouTube even unsubscribes you if you haven't left a comment and weird stuff like that. So consider subscribing to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. But in anyway, in that Boxing Eagle Watch Party, I told you that 
in my opinion, after seeing what I seen and the flaws that I seen and him getting dropped in the first round. And it wasn't just him getting dropped because, you know, you can get dropped. But the totality of the performance showed me that he's not ready for, I said, especially Jermail Charlo, but also I said Castano. The great Ego Stradamus strikes again. I tried my hardest to give you guys reliable and respectable commentary when it comes to this boxing. And I think I'm doing a great job, especially when you have trained professionals, professional fighters, former fighters, trainers. And after my videos, they basically corroborate what I've already told you. So I must be on the right track. Boxing Ego, subscribe to the channel. Told you he's not ready for Jamel Charlo. And literally, shout out to Anthony Mundane from being from Australia, because sometimes like the UK specifically, sometimes they're insanely biased towards their fighters to the point where you're just supporting your own and i have no problem supporting your compatriot but you got to make it make sense and be realistic it's not even a slight on tim zoo this is his face after the fight i mean he got past it you know it's not like wishing him bad but at the end of the day either he's ready or he's not and you know charlo hits too hard and the mistakes i was seeing and the the defensive lapses and stuff if you're struggling with terrell goucher not that he's not a good fighter but Charlo's at the top of his game and he'll be full of confidence should he beat Castano. It's just not a good look. But again, just like Mundane said, I, I said it as well. If he feels froggish, he can leap and, and fight him. So that's his decision. But from what I've seen, I don't see him winning that particular fight with the Charlo, you know. But we'll see how it all plays out and we'll see if maybe he and his team reassess the situation. Now he had a super tough fight with Terrell Goucher. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I'm the best in the business and I'm out. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kanichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.